Inspire Me TV is a platform used to encourage, motivate, and inspire youth and young adults alike through inspirational journeys of Chicago's very own entrepreneurs and career professionals. One person's journey can impact a generation. In order to change what statistics says about our youth and young adults and impoverished neighborhoods, we as a community have to give them hope. And welcome to Inspire Me TV, where we're going to talk about the frog shop. Jennifer Burrell is the owner and founder. Okay, so Jennifer, tell us about yourself. And are you from Chicago? Yes, I'm from Chicago. I was born here. Mm -hmm. And I actually lived here for about 10 years, and then I moved to Birmingham, Alabama. So I'm a little bit of a, like, northern and southern girl. So mm -hmm. I went to the University of Alabama. I graduated from... Um, from University of Alabama with a degree in international marketing okay. and then I came back up here to work so that mm. brought me back to Chicago again so I'm kind of like full circle. Tell us a little bit about your upbringing like things that your mother probably told you to do. For my parents you know going to college was um, there was no question about whether or not the kids were going to college mm -hmm. like it wasn't an option so and that's probably because my mom is an educator uh, my dad is a CPA, so, mm. you know, me, my brother and sister have been very blessed. You know, we had, I've always told, and I tell my parents now, you know, now I thank you all because I realize what a good upbringing that we did have. We weren't rich by any means, but I never remember, you know, wanting for anything. anything. So in the beginning of your journey, what motivated you to be an entrepreneur? Well, it wasn't a dream. I actually never pictured myself being an entrepreneur. I decided to be one because I couldn't find the jobs that I wanted so I felt like I was just creating I needed to create an opportunity for myself hmm. and that opportunity was that I was interested in fashion but I also had this degree in business and I was living in Chicago and it seemed like the only fashion jobs there were were retail jobs and there's nothing wrong with retail jobs but I wanted to you utilize my degree a little mm -hmm. bit more. Mm -hmm. The first step was I actually went to a entrepreneur class sponsored by my church, which mm -hmm. is Salem Baptist. Okay. They have an Arise program. I went there, it was more exploratory. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I just knew I wanted to be in fashion. And it was a eight week class where they just took you from the beginning with what is your business concept all the way to the end, where by the end of the class, you had a completed business plan, mm. and then you do this big expo where you present your business to the world for the first time. It's the very first class, the person that was teaching said, if you're gonna open a business, you have to make sure that there's something unique about it. So I was cleaning out my closet one day, and I noticed my prom dress, my wedding dress, um, cocktail party dresses, and it just dawned on me, I'm like, this is a waste of money. Like, <laughs> if men can rent tuxedos, women should be able to rent dresses. Mm. And just, I just looked and did the research and found that there were no dress rental companies in Chicago. Okay. So I was like, I'm just going to open a dress rental business. Tell us about the frock shop and its services. And um, who is your actual target, you know, market like? Well, the frock shop is a designer dress rental service. We rent dresses for black tie events, proms, weddings, pretty much any event that you want to go to where you don't want to spend a lot of money on something you're only going to wear one time. Mm. So right here we have a gold statement dress. This is one of our most popular styles. We actually have it in gold, black, and in blue. And we love this dress for pageants. There's this long train at the bottom, which looks really great when you're walking on stage or for prom, simply because it's a statement dress and nobody at prom will have a dress on like this. Our market is pretty broad. We like to categorize it more from the type of women mm -hmm. that are frock shop customers okay. and that women varies in age. Our customer is definitely fashionable and she appreciates designer brands. Mm. So she knows the value of a Rachel Zoe dress or a Giovanni or a Hervé Leger. But at the same time, she's very sensible and she doesn't want to spend a lot of money on anything that she's only going to use one time, that's clothes or anything else. So as long as you kind of fit that profile of you appreciate designer brands, but you're also sensible, 
you know, the age range of our customers starts like eighth grade and goes all the way up to a woman in her 50s or 60s. So what influences your um, selection of merchandise? Well, we carry dresses and sizes 0 through 22, mm -hmm. and we mostly determine what we're going to carry based on what people are renting. It really goes off of the customer. Oh. Because what a customer rents is a little bit different than what she's going to buy. So we tend to um, get more over the top pieces. Mm -hmm. um, so that is definitely, that definitely plays a role into our inventory selection. We read a lot of magazines, we watch a lot of reality TV, you know, watch what the celebrities are wearing. You know, all of that influences what we buy. And then down to the basics, like the colors and the styles. That's more based on what customers are actually renting. Name three things that you love about being an entrepreneur. First thing I love about being an entrepreneur is you just get to do what you love. Mm -hmm. And it sounds so cliche that when you do what you love, it doesn't feel like work, mm -hmm. but it's very true. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't cringe coming to work every day like I have for previous jobs. Yes, you know? yes. I enjoy what I do, I enjoy dealing with the customers, and that's probably the best part mm -hmm. about being an entrepreneur. The second best thing is the flexibility. Mm -hmm. um, and when I say flexible, I don't mean I get to come into work whenever I want to. Just more where I can set my schedule and I can plan ahead to take the time off that I need to mm -hmm. spend more time with family, to have more personal time. The third thing is probably just being able to control my financial future okay. and my family's financial future. So I get to control how much money comes in and how much money is going out and it's all based on my effort. If you can offer um, any advice to an entrepreneur, what would it be? It would definitely be to do your research. I know that sounds very boring and mm -hmm. textbook-like. When you do the research, do a very realistic assessment. Like, I know that you're aspiring and you want to start your business and you're gung-ho, but you have a lot of competition in the area for it. You know, what does the rent space look like for retail or for mm -hmm. restaurants? How much money is it going to take to get started? Where are you going to get this money from? Um, that's really, really important. What inspiration would you give to someone who is in need of a word or of encouragement or inspiration? Young people should definitely consider the path of entrepreneurship. And I just think it's something that um, the schools don't really train you to be entrepreneurial. They train you to work for someone. You can really take your passion and turn it into something that's profitable. Um, but that needs to be introduced to them a little bit earlier. If someone was interested in coming to the frog shop, how would they get in contact with you? Well, you can. the best thing is just to go to our website, www.frockshopchicago.com. And on the website, it has all of our information. It has all the links to our social media. Okay. We're, we're on everything, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest. And from the social media, you can find out all the different things that are going on in the showroom, the events that we're having, new arrivals, and all of that stuff. Well, thank you so much, Jennifer. It was thank awesome you. sitting down and talking with you. I'm inspired myself. <laughs> and I hope that you are inspired today. Look forward to the next web series of another entrepreneur or a business professional here in Chicago. And I'll see you soon.